Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. That's great. My name's Tay. I'm here at Lift Arc Studios, and welcome back to another episode of Lift Arc Builds. Why is the production value so good all of a sudden? Well, Walker, uh, my good friend, my editor, video extraordinaire, media overlord here at Lift Arc Studios, is out of town for the week with his family. He deserves it. That means, however, that I need to shoot, edit, produce uh, the entire video myself. To shoot, edit, produce uh, the entire video myself. Oh dear God, no! Don't worry, Tay. I got you. So, I'm overcompensating by putting on a nice lens and uh, that's about it, really. Uh, today's video is gonna be a quick one, probably, at least a quick build, uh, a pretty simple build. My sister, Grace, is a glass blower. She's two years younger than I am, and um, she lives in Brooklyn, New York. So in the glass blowing world, there's often a need for what's called molds, because glass blowing is the art of gathering glass on the end of a pipe and um, shaping it raw or uh, blowing air through the pipe to inflate the glass like you would kind of like chewing gum creating a bubble and then you can shape it further that way or blow it into a mold which then the glass uh, like water when you pour it into a vessel takes the shape of that vessel so grace has these cups and vases and cylindrical pieces that she makes quite often with semi-regularity and uh having a mold, she needs some new molds made. So that's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make some metal glass molds. Um, she's provided me this. You can't see any of that. And also she didn't provide me this. These are terrible sketches I made while she, I was on the phone with her. But essentially what we're doing is uh, cutting some pipe to length, putting handles on the side, drilling holes throughout the cylinder to vent the gases that are created when uh, the glass uh, comes into contact with the mold. The mold itself will be lined with a special cork mixture, which uh, helps it release from the mold and does other things, I'm sure. I think it might help cool the glass. If molten glass comes in contact with uh, metal, it will stick, and that's no good. Don't want that. Um, and then there'll be a base of some sort on these cylindrical molds so that they don't tip over easily. So pretty simple. Um, we're just gonna get right into it. I've never made these before, and Grace and I are kind of prototyping r and d on the fly. So we are just gonna get stuck right into it and see what we can't do. And yeah. So for the first cut, this is the four, it's four and a quarter OD, but it's basically four on the inside. So for these, I need one of them at eight inches and one of them at three and a half inches. I think this pipe is cast iron. And the one thing I know about cast iron is that it's brittle and it will break. Like that. I don't know if a good mold that will make I don't, you know, honestly, I'm not even gonna go with it. I may have to go over to Black Dog and see if they have any uh, four inch pipe laying around. Okay, good lord, we got it figured. We're gonna make two from the pipe that I have and we'll have to make two from pipe that I gotta get. So these ones are three and a quarter ID, which will allow her to make the three inch pieces after an eighth inch of cork goes around the inside. And then she needs one that'll end up being three and a half inches. So basically I need three and three quarter inch pipe so I can lose a quarter all the way around. Don't know where to find that. I'm gonna have to find it 
somewhere else. But I can make two molds now. Let's do that. I'm gonna go cut support rings. So this was for the bigger pipe. I need to cut it for this pipe. So I'm gonna make two that have three and a half inch ID, one that has a seven inch OD, and one that has a 10 inch OD. Let's go draw that up real quick. This is not an illusion. It is actually this bright in my office because of that skylight. Oh, yeah. Not bad. So I'm gonna quench this, cut it, fit it, and then bend the other one to match. Grace. Hi, Tay Tay. Hi. How are you? Good. We're in, just got to our studio in Red Hook. Is this the so new place? Can, yeah. You want a quick little tour? Yeah. Give me a quick tour. So this is Especially. our main space. My studio mates have this first part. And then this is all sticky glass. It's like our packing, shipping, inventory area. Yeah, wow. You are cranking yeah. it out. We're working. We're working. This is our it's home awesome. office. It's a little messy right now, but... I love those um, brick walls. That's killer. So cool. A little sticky display. Nice. Wow, you, you have see. been busy. Yes, yes. Jobeen with a ball. Hi, Joe. Say hi. Hi, Joe. <laughs> that's a ton of space for new york yeah that's why we're red hook is really cool because it's like these old industrial buildings that have you know been used for industry for since their existence in the 1800s and um and so it's just kind of this cheap untapped you know area for artists or not untapped, but you know, it's been a space for artists for a long time. I, I've, I've never made glass molds before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, tell the, the people a little bit about, uh, I think they kind of have probably seen glass blowing in a video or two, but maybe specifically your brand of glass blowing. Yeah. 
Well, in like glass blowing production, um, when you're making more than like one product kind of like all day, or, you know, you're pumping out like a line of pieces, um, you need things like molds to kind of give you that consistency and also make, they allow, it also allows you to make the work a lot quicker, which makes everything cheaper and, you know, more bang for your buck scenario. And in the glass industry, the most common mold is um, wood mold. So you get like a fruit, there's two people that kind of make them um, in the entirety of, I guess, wow. at least in the US. Um, so our, our supplies are pretty limited as far as getting molds made. But um, so they pick out a fruit wood, usually cherry or, um, you know, something that's dense and dark and um, can retain water a little bit easier and also hold its shape when, um, you know, when you introduce hot glass to it. And so these wood molds, the way that they function is that they kind of create, you keep them in water and then you bring them out and they kind of create like a layer of steam around, um, you know, when you introduce it, when you put the glass in the mold. Mm -hmm. And so these are all like spinning molds typically, but you can also make like angular pieces. Um, but so, but these are pretty, you know, there's only one person that makes them. So they're kind of expensive and, um, but if you're doing something like symmetrical and it's kind of like a cylinder, you know, metal kind of comes in this shape anyway. Right. So you can also make these molds out of metal as long as there's no, you know, undercuts or, you know, it, it has to come out the way it goes in. So if I need yeah. a shape like this, a metal mold won't work. I would have to get a wood mold that comes together in two parts. But since, you know, oh. making things making things like cylinder, like these pictures. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now, this is essentially a cylinder that I've then um, transformed into a pitcher after shaping it. And so what I've been doing so far is like hand shaping it. So I'm not even using a mold right now. And, uh, you know, your body gets used to things pretty quickly. Yeah. And I'm able to kind of pump them out at all relatively the same size. But still, you have like it's not as uniform as it could be when you're using mold and it takes a little bit more time. So, so another way is what the reason I've asked you to make molds is like, you can basically get metal tubing and cut it to a certain sort like height and depending on the width that you have and you had some that were kind of perfect for some of my picture designs mm -hmm. and then you drill holes in there cause it has to be a release for steam. And then you can essentially cork the inside. And yeah. so you get, you know, cork in this like pulp um, state and you create a mixture with rhinite and which is like a specific um, plant based material that you can then make this kind of cork glue um, or you essentially kind of put the glue on. It's like um, glitter art <laughs> right you put the glue down and then you pour the glitter on and then you kind of let it dry but in this process we'll have to bake it and so we use like an annealing oven which is kind of essentially like a kiln yeah yeah we'll put the paste on put the pulp on and then bake it together and it create and we'll do that several times and it creates this layer of cork that you then you know dip it in the water before I go into the mold and the steam, you know, then you still have that layer of steam um, that's kind of allowing you to spin within the mold. And the cork doesn't just burn away? So that's why you do it in several layers. And then this um, material, rhinite, is like a, um, a pretty great uh, adhesive for, um, for the pulp. I'm actually going to meet with some friends who are in Red Hook as well, and they are talking about um linseed oil is another option yeah. but linseed oil burns differently so that creates more smoke and it's not as great and i work in a public access studio so you know i think about people next to me and kind of being considerate about that so mm -hmm. if we can you know cork these pieces then that's kind of the best case scenario and you, you could do this process it takes about a you know about a day like the whole process depending on how many molds you have but then it lasts like for you know 10 years and then really yeah and then the thing about wood molds is that you have you have less pat you can do less passes because the wood burns right 
And so the wood will burn out and then your cups are then eventually, or your pieces bigger. Of are eventually a little bigger and they lose their, you know, true, um, size. True yeah. Dimension. So the metal, if the cork burns out, the best thing is, and then I can just recork it. Like the metal is never going to deteriorate because of the heat. Right. So that's kind of also the plus of using metal molds. Sure. And so if you didn't cork it, it would stick to the metal? Yeah, mm -hmm. because like we actually use steel pipes to gather glass. Oh, right. And so um, the glass and steel can stick together temporarily. Um, they eventually break away from each other, but um, if I were to put the glass into the steel pipe without this kind of wood-based wet barrier, then it would just kind of stick to the side and um, and yeah, it wouldn't be right. great. <laughs> well, if I could I'll... go in there really, really hot. I mean, the temperature of the glass when I go into these molds is around 18, 1900 degrees. Yeah. Wow. That's really hot. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I can't, can't yet remember when uh, metal melts, steel melts particularly, but it's not, I think it's around that temperature. It's not far off from that I temperature. I think steel melts a bit at a bit higher temperature and yeah. then than glass and then um, uh, aluminum melts at a lower temperature. Much lower. And then yeah. gold and silver melt at similar temperatures. So their CEOs are pretty similar. And so that's, mm. they're actually compatible. So that's why you can, you can put gold leaf and silver leaf onto glass because of the oh, cool. similar CEOs that they have. The coefficient. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good. That's another reason to use metal, but so the, I just, I just took my just artistic liberties on these. I want maybe Walker to get a close up and see what you think. So the bottom is flat and obviously it's open all the way through. Perfect. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, which is what you wanted, right? You want oh, it okay. open all the way through because, um, because if you were to put a bottom on that and then it would be a lot harder to cork that bottom because it's like a hollow tube, you're basically gonna have a big bin filled with the cork pulp and we're just kind of gonna go in there and kind of let it stick. But right. you know, you, you have less control of consistency of that bottom. Also, you know, the bottom's gonna burn out. Um, sure. Quickly. And so we just use a piece of plywood under there. And just set this on the wood. Exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, that kind of does it for you. Are the handles, I think the handles on this one give you a little bit more separation than the tiny one, but are these still acceptable for handles? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Any it's, handle, that, it's it's kind of great. This is sort of like a luxurious design because a lot of people I've seen just have the tubes. <laughs> oh really, okay, And nice. then, you know, they take, the, they take like Kevlar gloves and they just hold the tubes. They whereas, just grab like, the tube, yeah. Yeah, whereas those handles are gonna prevent, you know, the metal from getting hot when you're holding it, so. Yeah. I think they're looks, really cute. Looks like a little teacup. Yeah. Um, now, the vent holes, do you want more vent holes? I don't know if Mark could see them. There's four rows of vent holes in this one. Oh, um, I think that's perfect. And then I might put more in this small one. There's, I tried to make them spiral, so there's a three oh, yeah. in, a, in a slant and then three in a slant. Um, maybe one more here and one more there. Is there any, can you go too many? I don't know. I think it, like for a small one, at least like four to five. Okay. And yeah. then well, for the big ones, you know. We got six on this one. And also yeah, it just, yeah. it's mild steel. So if you find yourself wanting another vent hole, you can just you drill can just one. You can do it, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, they look well, great. Sweet. I went above and beyond and TIG welded everything. So they should last of you forever. Course. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet. So awesome. if, you, if, if you approve, then uh, I will stick them in the mail. I can't wait. Yeah, they're going to be great. You said you're going to the steel mill to find some other sizes. Yeah. So the the other two you want, you want to have be able to do three and a half inch diameter stuff, right? Yeah. Which means we need three and three quarter uh, piping because you lose a quarter inch with the cork, I uh -huh. think, o overall. 
So yeah, that's what I'll be on the lookout for. But at least we got two of these down and um, being that this is a prototype, it'll be helpful to see how they actually work. Yeah. Sweet. Let's show the, show the people one more time what you're going to be using these molds for. So I have a, a few different, I'm going to use this white wall behind me to kind of help show. Sure. Um, nice. So I have a few different um, picture designs, you know, I have some <laughs> like external handles here. I love that. Um, here's another one that has like a little wiggle external handle. Fascinating. Um, and then I have some, so this is for like the smaller ones. I have some that have these little feet <laughs> and cool. so kind of like a tube with some feet on there. Yeah. And you know, I have this line of ones that have an exterior bubble shape. So it's, it's actually blown out. Um, okay. It's like hollow bubble and that and kind of acts as your handle here that's kind of your one of your signatures so far was sticky right that little yeah bubble. these are the bubble cut like from the bubble collection <laughs> look, look at joe behind oh yeah <laughs> she's got her top hat <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, look <laughs> <laughs> and then for the cups i have um you know it's kind of similar things i have some that have this external chamber here and yeah. then some that have like a little um, Just a handle bubble. that I kind of stick on. So, um, and I have a mold for those, but I think I want to make them a little bit bigger. So that's kind of what this mold is going to be great for. Cool. Yeah. Right and on. Depending on you know, depending on when you get the other mold, then it might be best to just send them all together because we have to set up the corking in like one day, and it's kind of a big setup. So. It might okay. Make sense to like do them all at once. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll make a note to call Steel Services after this because even if they don't have anything laying around, I can just custom order something or at least get a quote for that. Yeah. Um, and so for the three and a half, see, it looks like I think I have it written down here. You want one at three and a half inches long and one at eight inches. Mm hmm. Okay. So these are still valid. <clears throat> cool. Mm -hmm. Well, if anything, I can just have them custom cut some and, uh, and I'll just get the quote for that. Yeah, yeah we can then put it on. We'll see. Put Regardless, it on the mail these the are going to be great. These two. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I uh, I figured if it was worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Yeah. <laughs> Classic <laughs> white side move. Yeah. Right. Um. Awesome. Well, well. Yeah, I'm excited Everyone's to gonna be jealous. Well, you know, it's uh, tell them where you got them, and yeah, we'll start awesome. a like side business of. For sure. Awesome. If I. If I can make them, uh, make a little money off of them, and then you can mark them up and sell them up there, that'd be even better. <laughs> you know, what's also cool is if you have, I don't have an example here, but you know, met, there's a lot of times people need metal molds to do something angular. So if you needed like a glass piece of like an octagon or like a pentagon or right. a square even, you know, you can't really get that out of wood as well as you can out of metal. And those okay. don't need to cork or anything because you just go in, you close it, and then you come out. So you're only staying in there for a certain amount of time. Interesting. You put some graphite spray on it, and that kind of is just the release there. But, right. So when time comes for some angular stuff, you know, that's going to be a fun one. Because you, the CNC plasma is perfect for that. Well, yeah, I could make my top out. plate. And then kind of like a cookie cutter, I guess, where you have a yeah. top plate and then walls around it. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, put it to work. I'm excited. That would be neat to see. Totally. Yeah. Well, um, I will. I'm glad uh, we got it. I'm going to call the steel place after this and get the right stuff lined up for, for the purposes of this video. I yeah. think uh, I think they have a pretty good idea of what the hell I've built here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big metal teacups. <laughs> yeah, well, this one for sure looks like kind of a teacup. Uh, it's with, perfect. With a with a trick, it's a trick cup with no bottom. Yeah, which is like <laughs> I love that idea. I know. Well, where where can people see your work? So you can go to stickyglass.com, and we have all of the um, you know all of our stock that you saw here. We're selling there, so. Yeah, visit us. And then Instagram is get sticky glass. So you can find us there as well. Nice. Well, 
Thanks for watching, everybody. From the white sides to you. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Tay and Grace. She's in Brooklyn. I'm in Roanoke. And uh, we like building stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friends so, in the family. That's right. Well, well, go check out Grace's work, uh, Instagram, uh, internet, or if you're local, if people are in Brooklyn, can they see it? Yeah, you can email us. If you want to come down to our Red Hook studio, um, info at stickyglass.com and um, make an appointment. Nice. Yes, okay. by appointment only. By appointment same, only. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I'll let you... Goodbye. Come here. Come here, Joe. <laughs> she is something else. Here, Goodbye. hold on. Come here, Stell. Come here. Goodbye. Come here, Come here baby girl. Who's that? Who's that? Oh. Aww. Okay. From our doggies and our businesses. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, oh thank you, God. thank you guys for watching. From our dog family to yours. Yeah. See you, see you next time. Bye, -bye. <laughs> bye, Joe. <laughs> bye, bye, Grace. Bye, Tete. We love you. Bye, Stella. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Mm. Oh. All right. Well, see you later. Bye.